wherever I go.
<laughs> oh, hey there, kids. Welcome to Grow TV. <laughs> Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Taro. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Oh, here we go. Carl being overly dramatic again. Watch out. Carl's got something going on and he's breaking down. But do you want to know what the thing is, y'all? You want to know what the big deal is? I'll tell you what the big deal is. The biggest problem in my life has happened. The world is falling apart and my life is shattering before my eyes. You want to know what happened? <laughs> I bought a puppy. And guess what? I was happy. I was happy. I had just that puppy. But it turns out that puppy wasn't a puppy at all. It was a mama dog who was carrying lots of babies in its tummy. And as soon as it brought her home, this happened. You see a problem? I can't handle this. I got puppies in my living room. Puppies in my bedroom. I got puppies in my pantry. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure one got inside my TV. Now he's just sitting there running his own TV shows. I can't do it. I'm at my breaking point. And that's why I need to talk to you. And honestly, I probably need to call some of my friends. I need to talk to them or else I'm gonna lose it. Well, that was not helpful at all. I mean, it was nice to hear from Steve again. We haven't talked in a while. And Cheryl's doing great, especially with a new business. But I really could use somewhere to talk to. Hey, Carl. Hey, Jada. Whoa, what's wrong? Well, Jada, I don't know. I'm struggling today, and I got so many emotions that I don't even know how to feel about them. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry, Carl. You know, Job also had some big feelings. Really? Of course. That's actually what I wanted to share with the kids today. Awesome. Well, you all remember what we talked about last week, right? We introduced you to a man named Job, and Job was a very righteous man. He loves God a lot, and Job had a very blessed life. But one day, Job lost everything, his animals, livestock, and even his family. And then Job got very sick and had sores all over his body. But even after all of it, Job still loved and worshiped God. Even his wife didn't understand, but Job continued to be faithful. Now, I want to ask you, if all of that had happened to you, if you were Job in this situation and everything around you had been taken from you, how would you feel? Awful! That would be awful! Right? Well, Job definitely had some big feelings about everything that was happening. And Job, just like Carl, knew that when we have feelings like that, we must talk to someone. So who did Job talk to? Well, he talked to... His cousin Billy? No. Caroline, the cashier at the gas station? No, Carl. Uh. Then I'm lost. Who did he talk to? Well, would you believe me if I said God? What? Really? Yes, really. Job couldn't help but run and talk to God when he had those big feelings. He talked to God about his feelings? Well, don't keep me in suspenders. What did Job say? Well, you can read it here in Job chapter 23 and verse 2. He says, even today my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy in spite of my groaning. Whoa, what was Job feeling? Did he say he was feeling better? No, he said he was feeling bitter. Yeah, like I said, better. No, bitter. Better? Bitter. Bitter? Yep, you got it. Oh, cool. Well, what does bitter mean? It can mean several things. It can mean Job was feeling hurt, angry, or maybe even resentful. Either way, this feeling was a big one, and Job knew he needed to talk to God about it. In fact, in verse 4, Job says, I would state my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. He wanted to argue with God? Not really argue. More like say everything that was on his mind. Just let it out, you know? Do you think it help Job? Absolutely. God has given us so many emotions like happy, sad, angry, jealous, silly. Hungry. Yes, even hungry, Carl. And all of those deserve to be talked about, even with God. Okay, but like God is like the creator of the universe. And there's billions of people on this earth. Why would God want to listen to me? Well, that's actually a pretty easy answer, Carl. God listens to us because God loves us. That's it? 
Yup, it's that simple. God created each and every one of us and all with big and small feelings. The Bible tells us to talk to God all the time and we can do that through prayer and when we talk, God listens. Uh, Carl, what are you doing? Jay, do you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to talk to God right now. Right. <laughs> Carry on. Tell God I said hi. Today's big idea is that God listens when we have big feelings. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God listens when we have big feelings. Awesome job, kids. Wonderful job. Job 37, verse 5. God's voice thunders in marvelous ways. He does great things beyond our understanding. That is such an important lesson to learn, especially for Carl. Let's see how he's doing. Hey, Carl. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Carl, we were just curious on how you were doing with your problem. Couldn't be better. Now that I know that I can talk to my friends and God, it's getting a whole lot better. But I gotta go because my puppies have now overtaken my vehicle, and I'm pretty sure they drove them to the swimming pool. Ooh, that sounds rough. <laughs> see you later, kids.